Hello, my name's Rob Hurd and I'm 48 and this is my, uh, my project to commemorate the dead of the Somme and it's called uh, 19,240. Yeah, well it's a commemorative piece to uh, represent the dead of the Somme, on the first day of the Somme, which is 19,240. And uh, it came about from a, um, an injury I sustained because I'm an artist and I wasn't able to continue working so I was looking for something also to, so I don't feel too sorry for myself to think of others but also something I could do and I, and I came upon the idea of creating these, these effigies which represent the individual dead of the song. Well, the issue first is the, is the fact of these names. Now, this is a volume of the dead of the Somme, the names, the individual names of the soldiers who died. And I got these from the War Graves Commission, very helpful people. Um, now, there are seven volumes of these names. Seven volumes. And the date is all the same. It's all the same date, which is in incredibly hypnotic just looking at the people would think this is boring reading it isn't it's fascinating and the idea is to remember each individual name in this book you know it's and I've actually started obviously with the A's working my way through but yeah it's vitally important that the association between each individual name and the individual figure although they are remembered collectively they are remembered as individuals yeah I've made every one I feel it's Personally, I feel this is very important that I do every one. I, do, I hand stitch the shrouds and I place the figures in, in the shrouds. And I think my relationship between that and the names is very important. I mean, I need, obviously, there's an awful lot of stuff you need. The guys who, who are important, the figures for me from China have been hugely helpful. Everyone's been really helpful, but I do need a lot more. And obviously I'm looking for funding to do that. But I do think that after I've done this, this piece, after I've wrapped the figures and made the figures what they are, then I feel very strongly that it becomes part of the community. The laying out of the figures is very much something that I personally wouldn't feel I should be totally involved in, in that a community, children, ex-servicemen, would be a fantastic idea for them to do that, to be involved. And again, the enormity of the number, the more people we can get hands on to hold these things, after they've been made, the better. What you see here is 550. So we're looking at probably close to 40 times this will represent the numbers of the loss of the song. And again, that's one day, one day of that war. You know, let alone the people who were, there were 40,000 wounded. And again, these numbers, to get people to understand these numbers, you need something of this magnitude.